Hello there. Welcome. So today... What? That's not... That's, uh... Let's fix this. It, oh, it's not gonna go away. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. So welcome to the farmyard here. So, it's the first off to ask for today is we're gonna do a little bit of swathing and that just came out of the shed. So that's always lovely. So I believe my dad and Jared are a worker. That's Jared's truck just over here. Yeah, my dad went to go pick up a new tractor here, so once they get back, I think they'll just be back. We'll see the new tractor tomorrow. Get this weather fired up. And we're gonna head out and start swathing uh, this field just over here. Our good old uh, wheat field here. Hopefully I, have, hopefully I have enough room to get through this. It might be a little tight. Well, I made it. Somehow. Let's fire it up. Let's see. It's not turning on. Oh wait, I think I forgot to hook up some hydraulics. Hear me. Let's jump out and get that done. So I might need those. There we go. That should be much better. I don't know took those up there yesterday. Yeah, there they go. There we go. Seems like everything is working good. No broken sections. Let's jump in here. Because we're not getting it we're not gonna get done if we don't get started, so. This is like the only piece of equipment we have actually on our yard that actually has GPS, which is a little annoying. So, nothing I can really do about it, so. Oh, I got a phone call. I'll be right back. Hey, sorry about that there. A little, little phone call. It's about the new tractor we were getting, so. Once you get stuff like this, it doesn't really matter. So this should be about all day's task. Except we, we do have another field we gotta do yet. So I'll probably work on those two fields today. So, a little bit of work, a little work here and there. Just me around the yard today. So. I guess I probably should better check to make sure this is just doing a good job here. Let's jump out and take a look. Looks like everything's laying down good. Nothing solid broken. Let's see. Our broken section, that's a good thing to check. We're gonna check the moisture, we're gonna see how good the straw is here. Feeling all good. Doesn't feel too tough. So I think it's good to go. I think it's crap ready to go. Let's jump right back in and we'll continue heading around the field here. a little bit there. Not easy driving a swather. That's for sure. We're gonna let me rent let me uh, borrow or rent a bailiff from a from a local producer. One of the neighbors farm there. Hopefully we can, because I would like to bail the straw. If I can at least, so. A little extra money. So that there's our canola field we gotta do right after, so. 
I'm just going to continue going along this field here. Hope we get it done. Not taking too long, that's for sure, so... I might get rid of those trees. Those trees, that's just a little annoying to go around. I think we're gonna try to cut those down this winter. Come down, move to this edge of the field, and then we can take care of them next year. Mostly just get them out of the way. Like even here, that could be. Probably gonna fix up that a little bit. I don't know why I didn't see that this year. Must have been a wet spot, so not too big of a deal. I think we gotta do today yet too. Is that we gotta go and uh, get the tools off the uh, the older tractor in the yard? So, well, it's in the shop at least right now. So, can't think of the model what it is. Top of my head. So. Maybe we'll do that after this pass here. Go around down there and get that done. Because we're probably gonna be out here all day doing this. So, seems like it's cutting a little tough yet still. So. Finish up this pass and we'll head back and oh we'll get that those wheels off. Those deals off because uh don't really need duels for gravity wagons, so So I guess I'll see you guys in the, the shop here in a little bit. Okay, so we're on the shop here now. Maybe the skister wasn't here, I moved it out over there. Um, I think to get this tractor out here, the uh, 1586. I think we're gonna have to move the old farm all here, McCormick. So we're gonna jump on here. We're gonna try to get this started here. There we go. Takes a little bit. To be honest, this thing probably needs a little bit of work. I think this is why I think that's why he was in the shop in the first place, so. And I try to go put this. We're gonna move this into the other shed for right now. Just kinda get it out of the way, so. Here. Gonna run in here. Oh, unlock the doors. There you go. Always gotta make sure the doors are unlocked from the inside, so. Just try to push this out this way. There you go. And we'll get this door here opened up as well. There you go. door seemed like it opened on us. Oh, these doors are always trying to open back up. Let's bring this thing back in here. We'll put it behind the big uh, versatile for now. Shouldn't be in the way here, so. Shut this off. And let's uh, run back. And get the good old farm all out. Probably could move this track, that track forward, but. To be honest, it really doesn't need to really be in the shop. Shop. To be honest, the combine should probably be in the shop now. But, it's whatever. Well, we'll do that after we get these duels off here. Well, let's see if this thing will start. Let's see if it'll play nice today.
There you go. A little stubborn. At least we just hit the door. Did that a little while ago. That, that was not fun. Let's line that up like there. Well, let's turn this tractor off here. Yeah, this isn't about any good oil change. Probably be good to go after that. I'm gonna grab the jack. Where would we put the jack? Ah, oh, there it is. That. And then, let's see. Can I lift the toolbar? Probably should, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. Well, I think I'm gonna take off for a little bit here. I'm gonna put the camera down. Try to focus on this. Getting these duels off because it's a kind of hard process when you're, especially when you're by yourself. So, in all seriousness, in real life, don't do this by yourself. That's the only thing I'm going to say about that. Don't do it in real life by yourself. That's how you get yourself killed. Thought I'd, put, thought I'd just put, say that I did right now while we're, before I get too ahead of myself. Oh, well, after a little bit of time. About about an hour ish. Well, half hour. Got the duels off. I spaced out these tires a little bit more. Should make so it's not too too hot top heavy. And yeah. So we're gonna jump back in this thing here. Should start a little bit nicer since should be warm. There we go. Okay on the first try. Perfect. Let's back this up. Looks weird now not having the duels on here. Sweep this out over here. We'll back this up to the gravity wagons. I think I'm just gonna need the one for now. To be honest, I probably only need the one for this year. Let's put the pin in. There we go. Should all be ready to go. See what I ran into there. Oh um, yeah. So that's actually let's run the one gravity way again. Let's move this down over here for now. We'll take the one off because we only only need the one. So. Let's see. Right there should do. It's out of the way. Yep. I'll put this on. Ah, should we get it right on the ground here, so. Some reason doesn't want to disconnect here. Don't know why. There you go. Didn't want to come loose there. And we'll just leave that there. And we'll just take this tractor and put it up by the auger. For now. Swing it by the auger, should be good. Shouldn't hit, hopefully. That should be good there, I think. Find out tomorrow, so. Shut this off. Make sure the parking brake's on. Go. So, you really don't want this rolling back into the auger here, so. Yeah, a nice, uh. Model A, my dad's had this for many years. Keeps repainting it just about every year to make sure it's in tip top shape. So. Yeah, we're gonna run back to the shed here. We're gonna try to grab a combine. Because we're gonna need that in the, the shop, so. Let's see here. There we go. Being a little annoying there. Raise this up. Let's try to back to the other shed without wrecking anything here. Can't really see much. These combines, so hopefully there's nothing behind me. Oh, 
Oh, he didn't hit the walls. I I'm just gonna go in uh, I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna focus on making sure this actually gets into the don't run into anything. So I'll see you guys in a hot second. Well it's in there. I don't know if any good though, but it's in there. Pretty has the fun working on this uh tonight. Not a lot of headspace up there, just saying. But it's in the shop now, we can at least get to the parts that we need to get to, so. A little bit of greasing and stuff like that, so. We're gonna call that good. Well, that was interesting. Oh, I'll close up this uh, shed door here. We don't need this open, so. And we'll also turn the lights off as well. Don't need lights on here while we're not here, so we'll leave this skidster there for now. We're probably gonna need it to unload the other tractor and the tires, so this other new tractor is gonna have duels with it as well. So let's jump in here. Let's back up. Oh, the stove starts good. Should be all ready to go now, so I can probably spend the next couple hours trying to get this field done so see you guys in about a couple seconds
Okay, that's uh, the field done there. I think the new tractor should be coming in shortly, so I bring this back to the yard so the dead said it's a little too hot to be swathing, so the canola at least, so I'm gonna bring this back to the yard. He said he's gonna do it tonight. So that I get an early start tomorrow with uh harvesting, so I'm just gonna bring this right back to the yard here, so Slow it down a little bit here, let me get not wreck anything. I think I'm gonna go eat some lunch and the comp to do tracker should be here, so and we'll see what else we gotta do this afternoon, so let's go uh inside the house here. Hopefully we should need the steer, hopefully. Find out though once uh once it gets here. Now, oh, what did I have for lunch? Oh that was a good lunch. Well I believe that how do you get back? So he went to go talk to a neighbor and I think Jared went home, so let's go take a look at the new tractor we have out here. No mock. They left the duels on the track. So I uh, guess we'll uh, try to get this down without causing too much damage. No idea why they decided to leave the duels on. There's enough room up front here to put the duels on, but I guess I guess not. So we'll jump up here. Jump in. Well, let's give this a start. So. Oh, start it right up. Perfect. Just look like it's well maintained. Doesn't have a lot of hours on it, so only under fifty. Try not to break too much stuff going down. Especially on the trailer. Here we go. Now we're going to go and uh, try to get the grain cart. We haven't used the cart in many years. But Dad bought it way back when. And he parked it back here and since then water has been just been not too great over here. So we're going to we're gonna try and try not to break the new tractor at the same time here. So. Oh, this is steep. Good fun. Ooh, what I hit? Almost to the cart. A lot of ditches in here. Holy moly. I don't think we're going to be able to come in this way. close enough we can hook it up so we'll put this tractor in part hopefully it should be good here so I got a little 7 780 a little rough ride so we're gonna try to go I think when I try to go out I'm gonna back it up and we're gonna try to come out over here then then the way we came looks we're close enough so let's this up here Kind of a bigger hitch than we need. Probably take the clevis clev saw, but that's fine for now. Couple of this up so that this gets damaged. At least we got enough hydraulic hoses, so it's only four. That's, that's not too bad. It's an old J and M. I think it only holds like 500 bushel. It's not very big, but it's big enough for what we have. Let's run back in. Well, let's try to back this thing up. It's very tall. I'll talk to you guys about this uh, other tractor back here. This was our old tractor. This used to be pulled the garage uh, wagons and something broke about it. And then my dad parked it back here. And then it hasn't moved since. 
I can't remember what model it was, but I know it broke down, and then my dad just kind of pushed it in the trees to get out of the field. So we used to own, I believe this one right here, at some point, then my dad sold it off after. A couple years after this tractor broke down, well, never got fixed, so might try to see if I can bring it to the yard one day and maybe try to get it fixed, maybe one day. But uh, let's try to get this uh, tractor out of here. Oh, a little steep, a little steep. Not to break the green card here. There we go, got it out. That wasn't too bad. Probably should have the other that way when I was backing in the first place, but oh well. Well, I think we're gonna try to bring this up to the shop. Since it hasn't looked at for like 30 some years here and we'll take the combine out of the shop here since yeah it should be ready to go actually let's do a little bit of grease on it I think a couple points I gotta get to find the grease gun uh, where did dad put it no the shop ah there it is should be on the header here we should grease here let's see cover off ah there it is I should be enough grease for that side, and then in. let's go check out something else up here. We gotta check. I think we might be on just on that one side there. Ah, gotta check grease up here. There we go, and then one here. There we go. I believe there's something on that chopper where you gotta check. So go to the door. Should be another grease sucker on yourself. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, oh, right on the axle here. Here we go. We're all greased up. So let's put this uh, away. Wash up my hands here a little bit. There we go. And then we'll try to jump into the combine here and we'll try to get that started here. We'll go put that uh, probably just over there, right by the field. Just kind of get it out of the way, or kind of tip it very lightly inside of the uh, quad set there. So start it right up. Let's lift uh, this up here. Go. Let's move this out of the way here. Let's swing that all the up. That's where we're going along here. We'll park it up inside the swath here. That should be good. Good and out of the way. Turn that off. Knock this for the rest of the day. There we go. That should be Combine should be ready to go now. Uh, yeah, let's run over here and grab this trick. Here. There you go. We're grabbing the whole tractor right to the shop here. So let's see if we can uh, get to the shop without damaging too much here. I think we're gonna try to get some stuff in here, some stuff set up. see how much room I got left. Got a little bit left to go. Oh, I could get the whole thing in here. Oh, let's see. Is it not to close the door? There it is. It fits, somehow. That should make it nice to work on in here. Because since we're going to go up here, we actually got to get some bearing. And a couple other things. 
There actually is a cart for sale not too far from here. I think I might try to sell that after this year. Or we'll see how this thing does this year. I want to get a new cart. But I think this looks pretty good as it is, so. We're going to try to close the door here. Let's see. Well, it closes. That's a good sign. It's a tight fit, for sure. Looks like we got a low tire there. That's not too bad. We'll check the bearing, check the whole card over, make sure everything works. And, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna jump up here. There we go. It's a basketball, but I don't want to hit the track here. Uh, yeah. We'll better turn that tractor off. Don't want to build too much exhaust fluids, so. Let's open up this door here so I can. A little bit of natural light coming in. So. And actually, we're gonna go park up this trailer. Don't know where Dad's gonna want it. So we're just gonna back this into the quad set for now. Just kinda get it out of the way. So. And then we got a nice truck. We should spend on fire equipment. Well, let's see. Try not get the calm miner at the swath of here. Well, I think I'm actually going to put the camera down here. And I'm going to try to focus on the back of the sim without causing too much damage here, so. And actually, to be really, to be honest, I think it might be the end of the day, so I'll come back later. So probably gonna need this guy at some point. Don't know why he didn't take a service truck, but he didn't. So I take his own truck, whatever. But uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna. I think I'm gonna stop for the day, and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, we get started harvesting uh, the wheat here tomorrow. So. I'm going to end up servicing up the the rest of uh get the cart ready to go, get the other tractor ready to go, probably put the skid steer away, trailer away, and then hopefully tomorrow we can get started on harvesting the wheat. Other than that, see you tomorrow, and uh, talk to you later.